What's going on, Nabooers? I got a thing. You want to see the new thing I've been working on? It really isn't a nice day out there today, overcast. So I started working on something that I think is pretty cool. At VCF East, I showed my webcam software hooked up to the Nabu, and I said at, in my presentation that I was going to do something. So today I got around to doing it, and I'm going to publish this tonight. 2024 0428 of the internet adapter. Be sure to get it because when you go to the demos, oh, when you go to the demos category, there's a Nabu color. Launch it. Loading Nabu camera color. And just like the other one, we have to select the camera device. So I can hit zero to do that. And I have a camera here someplace. There we go. I have so much stuff. You know, I've been watching that Fallout um, Prime episode, Prime series on Prime, 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 Prime. And you know, it's actually pretty good. And it got me playing Fallout VR uh, 4, Fallout 4 VR again, all over. So uh, I've been kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> it's been awesome. You have to try it if you haven't tried it. Okay, so I got a camera here and let's let it initialize. Boom. What do you think of that? Those are some bananas, aren't they? So here we go. I have a camera that is in color. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Now the frame rate's gonna be a little bit lower because we're dealing with a ton more information being sent over the wire at 111 kilobits per second. So that's about 11K per second. And as you can see here, like, you know, the color of, of the, uh, the hardwood roof there in my cabin shows up nicely, like, it is pretty good, I have to say. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Sesame Street and you can see, you can really make that out, can't you? It says street life. Yeah, isn't that wild? In case you're wondering, this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's just so much better than the black and white version. Like you can even see the side of my shirt here. Unreal, it says sesame on it. Okay, so if we hit the letter H on the keyboard, we can jump into the menu to adjust values. So I've played with this a little bit today and these are the values I came up with that are hard coded. So if you play with it and find some values that work a little bit better, then let me know in the Discord because I'll try them out and they might be the new values that are gonna be hard coded. So let's not forget, we also have the ability to hit the letter R to get into uh, remote desktop mode. So let's try that. Letter R, there we go. Now I can use the keys on the keyboard to navigate around my remote desktop. So just like we did last time, we can do remote desktop and actually display a YouTube video. So we got a friend from Wasagi Electric on here. So let's resize this image, this video here, so we can get it nice and small. And that should line up pretty good with what we get on the screen. So I'm gonna have to move it around a little bit. Boom, there we have it. So as you can see, that's Mr. Usagi. There he is. And here he's talking about VCFEs, it looks like. I was there just, what, two weeks ago now. That's pretty wild. So we can watch it on the Nabu. And hey, who's that guy? Brian, you're famous. So with a low frame rate and some audio, you can now watch a little bit of YouTube on the Nabu. So I'll just click Please there. Right to say, there we go. There was a uh, young adult that approached me and said, hey, I found something really cool at a... Uh, so you might be wondering how I'm doing this. Um, if there's lots of noise on the screen, sometimes things get a little bit too complicated. So it's hard to tell what this is. But if we get back to something that like that, we could read that quite well. Um, that's great. Let's take a look at some people. So where's, where's David? Where's Mr. Wasagi? There we go. So we can really make that out quite well. And that's because there's not a lot of artifacts on the screen. So how am I doing it? What's the magic behind converting the color? Cause I was doing black and white before into, uh, so how am I converting it to the TMS 9918A you might wonder. So what I've done is I've created a, an array of all of the colors that best match to what I think is accurate for the TMS 19, 9918A palette. Now I was able to get enough information off the internet from a variety of different sources to be able to attain these red, green, and blue color values. 
And then they created this function which will take the row of eight bits and it will identify, or eight bytes, sorry, in the actual overall image, and it'll identify the, um, first it'll get, grab the mean, so it'll take the most, the average color that is being used on the one row, because remember we can only do one or two colors per eight bits of information on the display with the TMS 9918. And then what I do is I use uh, Euclidean math, 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 math right here to be able to just figure out very simply uh, a distance between two vectors. So the vector of the actual color that we are analyzing, which is the mean compared to the um, vector of the all the different palettes as we loop through it, and we find the one with the minimum distance. So between the two vectors, we find the one that has a minimum distance between the two, and then that's the one we choose. So this is a good example. Here we go. So let's pretend that this color here, down here, is the color from the average of the line, and this one here, as we loop through, is the colors of the palette. And then this distance between these two vectors, the shortest one wins. So I think what's wonderful is Cartoons specifically have a very nice, not a lot of complicated um, of colors, so you can really make things out a lot better. So you can guess what show I'm watching here. Space Madness. It's, it's just great watching actual cartoons on here. I think that works better than anything else. It's just a lot easier to understand what, because there's not as much color variation as you would get in a, in a real life image. Okay, Nabooers, I hope that you enjoyed my video because I think this is great and I hope that you enjoy playing with color on your Naboo with a webcam. I think this is great, so much fun. I will see you all on the next video. Take care, everyone. This is a quick end to the video. I just wanted to say real quick that um, DY on Discord had uploaded a video about how to run the internet adapter as a Windows service. So we've talked a lot and there's information on the um, service.txt file distributed with the network internet adapter. And that's for Linux to be able to run as a service. But I just wanted to show here that if you want, if you're running Windows, you want to run as a service, check out um, technical workings video because it's really well done and he talks about how to set it up as a Windows service so you can have it boot up in the background for those who are running Windows. And I have to add this of course being Canadian typical <laughs> the Oilers beat the Kings 1-0 tonight in the NHL 2024 playoffs let's go we're bringing it home boys.